Bruce all had it all. Oh, look at those pair of lovebirds together. They are so perfect. I was friends. Well, uh... But he wasn't exactly a happily married man. You'll find yourself some other chump. Didn't you have anything in common? Sure. Alimony. I look at you. You're pale. You're out of shape. You look like my lawyer. Then he found the courage to change. And I'll get a, a new job, maybe become a, an actor. That's when Saul became... Salvatore Giuliano III. Salvatore Giuliano III? Salvatore Giuliano Schwartz. Who's this guy anyway? I've never seen him before. This, this guy's gonna be another Cary Grant. An Italian secret agent. Quite a story. Now his fantasy's taken over, and he's having the time of his life. They want my body. What do you want, Glue? But what he really wants is to be with her. You're an actor. Were you Saul or were you Salvatore? He's a smooth-talking, great-looking, bamboozling, philandering, manipulative, deceitful, lying, hypocritical phony whom I don't care to ever see again as long as I live. Amore. It's about love. I want you. It's about magic. I need you. It's about time. Take me. Take all of me. Don't leave anything. Amore. Jack Scalia. Kathy Ireland. George Hamilton. Norm Crosby. James Doohan. Brenda Epperson. Elliot Gould. And Catherine Hellman in a heartfelt comedy about making your dreams come true. Amore, from the producers of The Cotton Club. They're already talking about the sequel. Cheryl, I've been ready for over an hour. I was waiting for you to get dressed, remember? You want me to look beautiful, don't you? Of course it's I do. It's your 40th birthday. I know. Please, don't remind me. Surprise! Are you surprised? I'm surprised. <laughs> oh, just look at those pair of lovebirds together. They are so perfect. I just knew Cheryl was... Was the one, the moment you first cast eyes on. Mm -hmm. I know. Everybody knows. I just can't understand why they never had any kids. Maybe they were abstaining till you're old enough to be a grandma. <laughs> Forty years old. When I was your age, I was 50 years old. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Happy birthday. Thank Happy you. birthday, sweetheart. Thank you, Mom. Dolly! <laughs> and you knew? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Glad you showed up. Happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> Glad Thank you can make it. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Hey, I got another surprise. This is your life, Saul Schwartz. Roll the film. Film? Come on, you're gonna love this. Film? <laughs> you were the cutest little baby in the world. Oh, Ma, not the baby pictures. Yeah, you're gonna love it. I'm gonna join you, Daddy. Oh, you are so adorable. Oh. Jesus, I should let Solly run the company. Oh, boy, Solly, that was tough. Mm -hmm. 
I can't what believe you filmed this. What it takes to succeed in this screwed up world? It takes claws and brains, neither which are any without the others. Such a thing to teach a four-year-old. That's my boy. Hmm. Which film first united Humphrey Bogart? Ten have and have, have not. Oh, you are so which smart. Which oh. was said to be no Name the famous Impressionist artist. Renzi. A regular Alvin Einstein. Mm. Name the Sicilian patriot who stole from the rich to give to the poor. Salvatore Giuliano. I knew that. What, what, why did you do I that? I didn't know it. But I, I knew it. I, I was we could have won. Right? We could have won. We didn't. To be or not to be. How good he was. The guy he was acting with died. Honey, I thought you were fabulous. Nobler really? in the mind yeah. to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or you are an artist, <coughs> sculptor, Michelangelo, Da Vinci, Van Gogh. Your David or Mona Lisa awaits. You know, one thing I never understood about the Mona Lisa, why would Da Vinci paint such an ugly broad? <laughs> Daddy, behave yourself. <laughs> now, if he'd painted my lovely daughter-in-law or my wife a few decades... Watch it. ...a few years ago, now, that would have been a painting. Good recovery, Dad. <laughs> to the law of Moses... Oh, honey, look, our wedding. It seems like only yesterday. Yesterday? Sure, it was almost eight years ago. And eight diamonds ago. You may kiss your beautiful bride. Thank you. To Saul, may marriage bring to you half of what it's brought to me. Psychiatrist bills, herniated discs, a couple of ulcers. I'm only kidding. So, to start them off on the right track, I'm announcing my retirement and I'm turning over the reins of Schwartz and Company. I had tears in my eyes. Oh, of course. Think of what I was giving up to oh. him. <laughs> responsible person I know. We're proud of you, kid. It's over? Uh, not yet. Oh. Don't help her? Don't help her. Oh, wow. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sally. Cheryl, the champagne is ready. Honey? Yes? What do you think? I'm ready. Don't you just love it? Your mother got it for me for your birthday. It's a detestable. Well, what do you think? Well, uh, it's certainly my mother, Cheryl. <gasps> really? Yes. Oh, I knew you'd just love it. It's gorgeous. Just like you, sweetheart. Oh, I'm so happy. We're finally on vacation together. Feels like a second honeymoon. Really? Mm hmm Does that mean tonight we can? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I might have cut a little snippet of a cold shopping this afternoon. That's all uh, right, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so embarrassed. It's all right, Cheryl. These, these, these things happen okay. sometimes. It's okay. Now, where were we?
Black Song. Hey, Tom. Hello. Hello. You lose. It's the Toro. It's the bull. Yeah, well, never mind that. Just tell him to short the carp stock, all right? Why? What do you mean, why? I'll tell you why. Let's just say my bowels told me to dump it. Look at this. You've been standing here all this time. You didn't even say anything? Well, I didn't want to disturb your train of thought. Not to mention your bowels. Very funny. Welcome back, asshole. Thank you. It's good to see you. Come on, Sina. Nice way to talk to our clients. Talk to all our clients like that, you know that. So, how was France? You little, uh... Joey. Come on, you're a man, she's a woman, an exotic, romantic location. Talk to me. It's not like that. But Cheryl, it's never like that. I, I, th I think that's the problem. Besides, there was some, uh... <laughs> there was some extraneous circumstances. Excuse me? There was some extraneous circumstances. Extraneous circumstances? Speak English. Cheryl had an extreme allergic reaction to some shellfish in the bouillon base. She was laid up the whole time with an IV stuck on her arm. You know, I actually, uh, I actually found myself thinking I couldn't wait to come back here to go to work. I was miserable. That's not misery, pal. That's marriage. into your soul. Don't you know you can never win? The good will always triumph over evil. The that justice just must, must prevail. <laughs> Free from the scourge that enslaved you. Free to follow your heart. Free to follow your soul. Free to follow me. Oh, Ruthie. Tell me about your work. I've been groomed to run Schwartz and Company since birth. When I was in my mother's womb, my father probably read the shareholder reports to her belly. 
It's always been my father's dream that I would take over when he retired. He, he built a company, laid his foundation for me. I'm, I'm, I'm his only son. He gave me everything on a gold platter. Anything I ever wanted, my parents gave me. Nothing but the best for Sally. They, ju they just wanted me to have what they'd never had growing up. Having what I've got, the life I've been given. Most people would die to trade places with me. What am I supposed to do? Throw it back in their faces, break their hearts because I, Sally, don't like investment banking? No. I've got to do the right thing. So, you'll never do the right thing if it's for the wrong reason. You know, I want to try a little something, a little hypnosis, to delve deep into that subconscious of yours. Are you game? You're not going to make me stand on your desk and bark like a dog, are you, Dad? <laughs> no. No? No. All right. Now, let's talk about what makes Saul Schwartz happy. I'm tired of you dames running my life all years. I'm gonna be square with you. Something I should have done a long time ago. I don't do nothing no more for nobody but me, she. Not for you, not for nobody. Only for number one, sweetheart. And you're looking right at him. But what about me? What am I supposed to do? You'll find yourself some other chum. You dames always do. Just whistle for one, sweetheart. You know how to whistle, don't you? Just put your lips together and blow. What are these little rocks from me, baby? <laughs> You're going to pay for this. Oh, you have, sweetheart. It's a very worthwhile cause. Yes, yes. Well, thank you once again. My pleasure. Excuse me. Elio, classic elegance embellished with jewels. The train accenting her beautiful back completes the ensemble. <laughs> Joanne is ready for a night on the town, Carmen Miranda style. So, it's not so bad. I thought these charity benefits are usually boring. This is your idea of fun, Joe? No, it's... Suzette Ooh. is stunning in silver with bold cutouts placed to define her most sultry assets. I think I'm gonna go over and have a little, uh, creep. Suzette? <laughs> Don't eat too much. I will. You must be Saul Schwartz. Yeah, yeah, yes, I am. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Barry F. Scarborough. My friends call me B.S. The Barry Escarable from, from, from B.S. Pictures. That's all I wanna know. What a pleasure it is to meet you, sir. I'm a, a big, big fan of, of your films. Well, I'm a fan of your financial wizardry. Thank you very much. You know, my company has a public offering in the works to raise some capital for our next 10 pictures. Yeah. At 250 million. Right. Maybe your company would like to handle the underwriting for us. Well, well, why don't you send me over a proposal and I'll put it before the board. We could probably work something out. But, but brings you to Manhattan. Uh, my wife, actually. She's in Beverly Hills. <laughs> I understand. Cheryl Schwartz. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Our sex life, Doc, it's become almost non-existent. 
Oh, tell me so. The times you do have sex, is it pleasurable? Let me try to remember. Since I turned 40, my memory's not what it used to be. And neither are some of my body parts, for that matter. Your wife, does she still get aroused? Only when she shops. If I could figure out a way to have sex in Neiman Marcus, I'd have it made, believe me. <laughs> I would. Tell me, Tom, in your heart, how do you feel Cheryl feels about you? I mean, take it all away. The money, the homes, your company, everything. Does she love you? Or does she love being Mrs. Saul Schwartz? My baby don't care for shows. My baby don't care for clothes. My baby just cares for me. My baby don't care for furs and laces. My baby don't care for high-tone places. My baby don't care for rings or other expensive things. She's sensible as can be. My baby don't care who knows it. My baby just cares for me. Hey! My baby don't care. Just cares for me, cares for me, cares for me. Rudy, Rudy, I can contain my love for you no longer. My heart aches for you. I yearn for you. I desire. It is a love that cannot be. For I am but a humble houseboy, and you, a beautiful contessa from the noblest family in all of Rome, and you're supposed to marry Alfredo, son of the second noblest family in all of Rome. It doesn't matter. He doesn't matter. He is nothing compared to you. You are suave, charming, debonair, handsome. And he, he's... Not? family would disinherit you if they knew of our feelings for one another. You would be completely cut off. I know. It doesn't matter. Oh, Rudy. Would you be willing to leave everything? To give it all up for me? Oh, yes. 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 Barely. Then it is settled. We'll start a new life together somewhere far away from here. And I'll get a, a new job. Maybe become a, an actor. But the most important thing is we will always have each other. Oh, Rudy, I love you. I truly love you. Sally, where are you? I'm on an airplane. I just needed to get away for a little while, that's all. Los Angeles. Los Angeles? Yeah. Los Angeles isn't a vacation, it's a prison sentence. What the hell are you going there for? Rudy Cabonera. What? What are you talking about? Never mind, Joe, you wouldn't understand. I guess. Listen, I want you to run the company for me. You're more cut out for it than I am anyway. You always were. Now look, Joe, you just keep everything running smoothly at the company. Barbara will help you out if you need it. All right. Can you handle it? Can I handle it? Can I handle it? Hey, Sally. Would I let you down? Ciao. Yeah, ciao. Excuse me.
Excuse me, are you all right? I, I, I hate flying. I, 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 I always get anxiety attacks. Oh, well, maybe I should call the steward. No, 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 that, that, that's not necessary. I, I, I've, I've been working on my phobias with my analyst. I, I used to have vertical vertigo, but, but he cured me that. And now all I have is ordinary vertigo. Vertical vertigo, what is that, a fear of standing up? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Yeah, no, I, 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 I'll be fine as long as I, I don't look out this window. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll look at you, okay? If you don't mind. No, that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Any other phobias you care to share with me? No. Okay. Well, I, uh, I, I suffered from Cheryl phobia for a while. Uh, your, 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 uh, your name isn't Cheryl, is it? No, it's Louise. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's very good, I assure you. <laughs> good. Good for me. I'm Louise Armstrong. My friends call me Louie. Louis Armstrong? <laughs> No relation, I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you? Saul. Saul Schwartz. My friends call me Saul. <laughs> Cute, right? Well, glad to meet you, Saul Schwartz. Hi. Hi. So, um, who's this, uh, Cheryl, if I may be so inquisitive? Cheryl, uh, Cheryl's Mac's wife. Uh, we were recently divorced. Oh. The whole thing was, uh, was a, was a fiasco. Actually, it was, a, it was a prolonged nightmare. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah, me too. We just had uh, we just had different priorities. Different everything, really. Didn't you have anything in common? Sure. Alimony. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what are you working on? Oh, this um, it's an arrangement for a song I wrote. I'm a singer. Really? Yeah. Somebody famous? Hey, should I know you? Do you have a record? Do you have a song uh, on the radio? No, no, not yet. I'm working on it though. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna be showcasing some of my songs at Bugsy's place. My agent wow. thinks it might help me land a record contract. Your agent? Yeah. You have an agent? Yeah. It's really big time. <laughs> Can I be worried with? No, you're not and serious. Your phone number? Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I wouldn't say that. But believe me, I, I would. I wouldn't yeah. say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> no. So, um, what brings you to L.A.? So you want to be in pictures? Yes, sir. Why? Well, well, well it, it's, it, it's always been a fantasy of mine. Kid, listen. I deal in reality, not fantasy. Look, everybody fantasizes about being an actor. But you know what they do? They go into a theater and they lay down seven bucks. That's what makes this a great business, kid. And don't forget, this is a business. Look, I don't have altruistic motives. I don't pretend to. I'm motivated by money and power and greed, like everyone else. I'm an agent. Well, I, I just want to know if you think I have a chance. Look, I agreed to see you out of courtesy to Louie. Now that's somebody who's got a real shot. She's going places. She can sing, she can act, she's gorgeous. She's got the whole package. Now look at you. What are you, uh, pushing 50? No, I'm, I'm, I'm 40. You're pale, you're out of shape, you wear glasses, and that hair, and your beard, Jesus. You look like my lawyer. Thank you. Good luck. Hey, Taylor. Hi, Cookie. I brought you something. Oh, peanut butter pecan, my absolute favorite. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> You're late. You want to get in there? someone who is watching over you nothing else will matter if your aim is high every dream is yours if you trust your heart and never Reach 
your dreams if you only start to keep your aim up high and follow your heart. Whenever you think that everything's lost, you'll make it through no matter the cost. So keep your aim up high and follow your heart. Don't sit back. Some dedication. Whatever takes you only heaven knows. If you've got a dream that's deep in your heart, it can be yours if you only start. So keep your aim up high and follow your heart. Thank you. Wonderful. I mean, what a voice. I, I had no idea you could sing like that. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you made it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so, how'd it go with my agent? Did they take you? I want to hear everything he said. Now, look at you. You're pale, you're out of shape, you wear glasses, and that hair, and your beard. Jesus. You look like my lawyer. You look like my lawyer. You look like my lawyer. What'd you say your name was? Saul. Saul Schwartz. A familiar ring to it. Not necessarily a good familiar ring to it, but it rings. Anyway, you're here, so let's talk. What can I do for you? I'm, uh, I'm looking for representation. So, you want to be in the pictures? Yes. Everyone and their uncle wants to be an actor these days. It's astounding. I had some schmuck come in here one day. He looked like my lawyer, for Christ's sakes. You stay in this business long enough, kid, you live to see it all. You see it all. You got potential. You got a good look, good face, good build. You look Mediterranean Italian. What are you, early 30s? 40. You're 30. You got that? Nothing worse than having to explain why someone pushing 40 hasn't made it yet. Now, what about your background, previous roles, agents, training, and so on and so forth? Well, well I, I minored in uh, performing uh, arts at Harvard, and uh, I, I did a couple of plays at, in school. Kid, what have you done the last 20 years? I, I, I ran a financial investment firm. I, I didn't have the opportunity to go out, you know. And... Studied at Juilliard, then did some off-Broadway. Played, let's see, um... Danny in Greece, Willie Loman in Death of a Salesman, Stanley Kowalski in Streetcar, then you, uh, you, uh, what the hell did you do? Speak any languages? French and, and a little Italian. Perfect. Disgusted by the lack of quality roles at the time in America, you moved to Europe to live for a couple of years, to broaden your horizons, to taste life, to find yourself as an actor. Now, having been found, you're back and you're ready to take America by storm. What do you think? Uh, what'd you say your name was? Saul. Saul Schwartz. That's a terrible name. That's a horrible name. You need a name people will remember, a name they could hold on to, something catchy. Okay, I, I, I like my name. I, I, I've had it my whole life. I, I'm used to it. Well, you get used to another one. Do you ever hear of Bernie Schwartz? You know my cousin Bernie? No, not your cousin, kid. Bernie Schwartz, an actor. You ever hear of him? No. That's because he changed his name to Tony Curtis. Really? Yeah, and Archibald Leach. Hear of him? No. He became Cary Grant. Wow. 
Marion Morrison became John Wayne, Izzy Danielovich, Kirk Douglas, Roy Shearer Jr., Rock Hudson, the list goes on and on and on and on. And you know why? I'll tell you why. Because people don't want to lay seven bucks down at the box office to fantasize about somebody named Saul Schwartz. Just doesn't cut it. It's too, too ordinary. We need something more romantic, something Italian. Saul could, Saul could be Italian. Uh, it, it could be short for Salvatore. Salvatore. How, that's not so bad. I mean, uh, look at Sylvester Stallone. What could be worse than Sylvester? Salvatore. 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 Not bad. Not bad at all. It has a ring. It has a good ring to it. I seem to recall Salvatore was the Sicilian's first name. Salvatore Giuliano. He was a Sicilian patriot who stole from the rich and gave to the poor. He wrote poetry, too. A poetic Sicilian Robin Hood. What could be more romantic and Italian than that? Salvatore Giuliano III. Oh, I love it. That's you, kid. <laughs> Salvatore Giuliano III? Got any pictures of yourself? No. You got a job? Allora, io sono qui. This dessert is a speciality in Roma. Its name is Coupe di Subio. It's derived from when the king... It's a chia so-so. He's the new rage in Paris. Isn't it just a dime? Was overthrown in a coup by <laughs> Count Subio. He ate this very dish the night of the coup. You incompetent fool! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, look at my dress! It was a mistake. Look what you've done to my chia sosa! It was an accident. You idiot! I am an actor. I am not an idiot. Do you know who that woman is? That's uh, some selfish, spoiled, right and pain in the ass. That 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 demand wardrobe support in the divorce settlement. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gee, go, 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 go. I'll take care of it, honey. Oh. What seems to be the trouble? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Scarborough. He was some Italian Mr. looking Mr. in. He was just right over there. Watch me. I just saw him. I know he's still here. I'm sure he is. I, I know you. Oh, the girl from George Levine's office with the with the bicycle. That was quite a performance you put on out there. What was it? A little early Jerry Lewis, or was it the Marx Brothers? Salvador. Salvador. You are an actress. And what makes you think that? Well, well, a, a fellow actor always appreciates a good performance. Besides, I, I, I see a pen and a script and, and some scene notes and the inquisitive eyes and. You are a very, very beautiful woman. Yes, you are an actress. You're an actor. Yes. <laughs> I see. And to think I thought you were a waiter. Silly me. I should have known better since you're sitting here at the table with me while all the other waiters are busy serving people. How foolish of me. Uh, confidentially, I'm trying to avoid someone who knows I'm really a billionaire. And if you were to see me waiting on tables, it would not look too good for me. So I guess you're taking my orders out of the question. No. But uh, only if you have Dina some time with me. I never make promises I don't intend on keeping. Does that mean no? See? This waiter was so full of it. He had a line for everything. Although he was very handsome until we gazed deeply into each other's eyes. And I asked myself, could there be some sign of intelligence lurking beneath this gorgeous veneer of a man? And? The vacancy sign was on. He even assumed I was an actress. Heaven forbid anyone should have a job where they've got to use their mind. A mind is a terrible thing. Didn't Dan Quayle say that in front of the NAACP? Yeah, he actually did. You should have seen him. What a klutz. Dan Quayle? 
I mean, what a waste of a perfectly good body. Why do people always have to go for the obvious? Yeah. I mean, I could do the obvious. Be one of them, don't hate me because I'm beautiful girls. But that would just be too easy for me, girlfriend. Just too damn easy. Can you imagine? They want me to write about the perfect male. I mean, that's like asking Mike Tyson to write about dating. So what do you think? Well, I like Mike Tyson. No, from Roman with Love. What do you think so far? I don't have an ending for it yet, but do you like it? Do you think it has any potential? I think if you can close that trap of yours long enough for me to finish reading it, I might be able to give you my opinion. You know, I should have just written about my ex-husband and called it I Married a Mannequin. God, that's the last thing I need. Another narcissistic, self-absorbed, neurotic, look in the mirror more than I do, actor. Never again. You okay? Asino. Yes. I am the man you seek. For I and I alone can deliver you the petone with which you seek to bring the free world to its unworthy needs. Test action. Asino. I am the man you seek. For I and I alone can deliver you the baton with which you seek to bring the free world to its unworthy knees. To teach all its civilization and think? Mm -hmm. He's got a good look. Hump can even act a little. Who is this guy anyway? I've never seen him before. George Levine's new hotshot. Salvatore Giuliano III. Supposed to be the next Rudy Carbonera. Give me that chance, I've seen why I employ It says here he gave up a political career in Italy to become an actor. They you love him over there. Could have been their president. Give me that chance, He's the Sicilian's see. grandson, you know. Nine? The Sicilian? See, mm -hmm. give me that chance, I've really? to change the face of the really? planet as we know it. I could mean big box office in Europe. Huge. Real big box office. Bafo. Here you are, madam. Thanks, sir. Thank you. You know, I still can't get over how different you look. Well, uh, well what do you think? Well, I thought you looked fine before. I mean, you look fine now, too. <laughs> <laughs> you look healthier. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you almost look... You look Italian. Well, I'm uh, a paisan now. I am like the great Rolfo Carbonera. What's a paisan? Uh, it, it's a, a term of endearment amongst Italians, uh, a countryman, a, a compatriot. I thought you were Jewish. Only on my mother's and father's side <laughs> of the family. So you thought you'd just fill in for Mr. Carbonara for a while? Well, there's, there's no one around quite like Rudy anymore. I mean, let's face it, Louis. They don't make them like they used to. I know. Well, a toast. Here's to you, Saul Schwartz, the last paisan. You let again, girlfriend. Another hot date with Mac? You just love banging that boy's board. He's always there when I need him. Woo! <laughs> My computer, a Macintosh. Are you ready to do some damage to these boys here? I was born ready, child. Born ready. Diamond ball, sound good to you? Let's go. You boys care to break? Ladies first. Oh. It's a real boy. 
law breaker. Yeah. You don't have anything to worry about. Think, think, think. I'm Jordan from the temp agency. Could I see your books? No, to Stephen King. Um, well, hi. I, I'm Jordan from the, the, the temp agency. How are you? Good. Uh, now, now, now could, I, could I see your books? Ah, to Capra. Hey, yo. I'm Jordan from the temp agency. Could I see your books? No, to Neanderthal. Next. Mr. Giuliano, second door on the right. Well, uh, hi, pal. I'm Jordan from the temp agency. Let me see your goddamn books, huh? <laughs> Thank you for stopping in. We'll keep your picture on file. Next. Excuse me, but, but, but I have not had the opportunity to audition for you yet. Frankly, Mr. Giuliano. Giuliano? Giuliano. See. Si. We would be wasting our time. You're just not what we're looking for. We're looking for more of a Woody Allen type. You are much too Italian. Next. Ciao. It's a tremendous dress you have on there. You know, I, I go Gentile for a woman in red. <laughs> You are perfect. Could you be a little shorter? I am like a chameleon. I can be anything you want me to be. I am an actor. Yo, brother, what's happened? I'm here to put some more dip in your hips, some more stuff into your strut, some more glide into your slide. And if you don't believe me, you got a hole in your soul and you don't eat chicken on Sunday. Woo! Yo, all these sisters with me, Adrian. These are my two turtles, Cuff and Link. Now, y'all get ready for the country top 20 countdown. Remember now, let's go to phones first. 20th call, y'all win tickets and big contest tomorrow night. Say the magic word, the duck will come down. So, what do you think? What are you on, glue? Next. believe this B -b because I can't it, it, it's like my worst nightmares my deepest innermost fears brought to life to totally mindless incompetent individuals m m m making decisions in people's lives that, 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 that can alter their very existence it's it's like government rejection Saul is just something you're going to have to deal with Especially as an actor. Yeah. You just have to have confidence and believe in yourself. Doc, for the first time in my life, I do believe in myself. It just gets so fr frustrating. You know, it's amazing how, how differently people treat you when they, when they think you're a nobody. Well, how about your interaction with women? I'm sure that's been affected. Oh, yeah. It, it's amazing. They come on to me. They proposition me. They, they want cheap, tawdry, lustful, lascivious sex. Doc, they want my body. And how does that make you feel? Oh. It's just so big. Mm. It's huge. It's big enough for two or three people. Uh, oh, boy. I'm sure you're told that all the time. Well, I... I, I mean, it must be so hard uh, to maintain. That feels so good. How do you keep it up? Well, I... I, I, I oh. Do you have someone to help you clean it? Huh? It must take forever. <gasps> no, I... I clean it myself. Wow. Do you own a lease? I own it. <laughs> the condo is silly. It's beautiful here. 
Yes. The setting is so serene. Thank you for bringing me here. I feel very special. I only bring very special people here. You're such a gentleman. And I love gentlemen. Oh my god, I can't believe it! See? Oh, I can't believe it's happening! Oh! Yes, I see, I miss see. 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 No. 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 see. see. No. No. Oh, God. What is wrong? Where are you going? It's two in the morning. My fiance is going to be home from work in 15 minutes. You are engaged? Yes. I'm getting married next Saturday. Married? Uh, I'll send you an invitation. I got to go. Getting married? Salvatore Giuliano III. Oh, Correct. Uh, give me the house lights. I, I know. I know. I am late. I am, I am terribly sorry. You gonna look at this guy? He doesn't look like the same guy in the screen test. He looks terrible. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Worst I've ever seen. Bags under his eyes. His skin is pale and pasty. He looks sickly. Real sickly. Real, real sickly. I don't believe this. Do you believe this? It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I, do, do you do this for all your parts? Or do we just get a special treatment? Well, Whatever possessed you to actually come in like this? I mean, how do you get looking like this? My father and my mother? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he knew? No one knew. They just finished decorating the set this morning. No one had a script. This scene wasn't even in the last draft. Oh, these method actors, they just look at the character. They know exactly what the character's gonna do in every situation. They become the character. They are the character. It's like they don't even need the script. Here, listen to this. Gianni Padaleo, looking near death. His eyes like two overstuffed gnocchis. His hair dangling like limp pasta. His al dente body sauteing in his own juices beneath his torn shirt. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. You know? Maybe we could start hiring the actors first and not bother with the writers. Save a fortune. Congratulations, Saul. An Italian secret agent. And with B.S. Pictures, that's unbelievable. Well, you look after yourself out there. Good luck. Oh, Jim, thank God I caught you. That stock order I placed for shares in B.S. Pictures, cancel it, and fast. No, 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 no. This guy's gonna be another Cary Grant. He's huge. About a million a picture. Huge. And that's just for starters. Of course nobody knows who he is. Why do you think I'm just asking a million a picture? When Roma with Love opens, you'll be lucky to get him for two million, if we'll even talk to you. Ah, a ray of sunshine in a gloomy world. How the hell are you, kid? Great. You look fabulous. Where's your bike? I drove. What'd they say? Did they like it? You're talented, kid. Beauty and brains, too. Now, that's a combination I can really sink my teeth into. Well? You're a hit, kid. 
They loved it. That's great. Well, what did they say? Did they have any specific comments, any suggestions or changes they want me to make? They just want you to do a little work with Gianni Paroleo. I could definitely give him more substance, make him more than just a two-dimensional male bimbo. I could make him more realistic, not put him in these ridiculous situations that no human could possibly get out of. No, 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 no. You're missing the boat, kid. They love that he's a two-dimensional male bimbo who could get out of any ridiculous situation. That's why they're making the picture. Oh. They want you to spend some time with the actor who's playing Paraleo. Study his mannerisms, his idiosyncrasies, his behavior, and so on and so forth, and then integrate that into the script. You're not serious. When it comes to money, I'm very serious. Look, you got your foot into the door. Now you want to open the door and step inside. You want to get your novel made into a movie, right? Yeah. OK, this is your chance. Make a name for yourself on this, and the door's open. So, who's playing Gianni Paraleo? Hello. What? What, what are you doing here? I, I, I mean, I mean, I am. I, I'm glad to see you. I. I mean, I am here to to meet a writer named Christopher Taylor. Uh, are Are you his wife? I'm Taylor. Taylor Christopher. Come on in. Christopher Taylor, Taylor Christopher. I, I made the mistake. Yo, yo sono molto stupido. I, I am sorry. Mi chiamo. My name is Salvatore Giuliano. I remember you, Mr. Giuliano. Please, you, you, you can call me Torre. All of my friends call me Torre. Even some of my enemies. <laughs> Come on in. And after Giuliano was found murdered by his best friend, his body was found poisoned. And the legend has it that in his pocket they find a note. And the note read, so die all who betrayed Giuliano. And my grandfather became a martyr known as Il Siciliano, the Sicilian. And he became more revered in death than he did in life. And that, signorina, is my family story. Grazie. It's quite a story. Yes, it is. Didn't Mario Puzo write a fictional novel called The Sicilian? Yes, 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 he did, about my grandfather. They attempted to fictionalize his life, but as I'm sure you know, reality is much more interesting than fiction, no? So, Tori, hmm. I take it you grew up in... Italy. New York. By, by, by way of Ellis Island, like most immigrants during the 1930s, my father come to America to, to seek his fortune, to follow his dreams. Much like my grandfather had wanted to do before his untimely death. Excuse me, signorina. So, uh, being first-generation Sicilian, I take it you speak... Italian. Italian. Um, my, my, my mother came from northern Italy. She did not speak Sicilian, but, but my parents always spoke Italian around the house, and, of course, English, when their hands were too busy. <laughs> hey, Jim Youngkin. Most probably <laughs> during his manic period, yes. You're familiar with Jim Yonkin? Certo. But of course, he is perhaps one of the greatest obscure impressionists who ever lived. Did you by chance ever see his self-portrait tormented soul? Oh, the anguish, yes. the suffering in his si. face. I wonder what made him so depressed. His wife. <laughs> <laughs> I am here all the time, all the time, talking about me. Why, why don't we change the subject? So, what do you think about me? I can make a joke. <laughs> uh, please, tell me something about yourself. Well, I, I grew up in Bloomington, Indiana. Mm -hmm. I got a scholarship to Notre Dame, and after I graduated, I... 
Is that you? Changing gears? Yeah. I love that novel. Especially the ending. You read my book? You really liked it? It was beautiful. You write with such style. You're so descriptive. The, the emotion, the... The passion. Grazie. Prego. Yes, me too. I hope you're hungry. Hey, hello. <laughs> how, how did you do this so fast? And, and how, how did you bicycle so fast? I used to race. Race? Actually, that's how I got through college. A cycling scholarship. I even got to spend a season in Italy competing. That was incredible. Italy? Mm. Uh, never Italiano? Un po'. I'm fair. <laughs> ah. Ma, uh, che fare piacere? Ci please, mo, chiaramente. Mi manca molto la competizione. E cose esilarante. Stare all'aperto, sudare, e spingersi. Non ti fa impazzire? Sì? Il mio primo marito odiava il ciclismo. Non riusciva a mantenere il mio passo. Né fisicamente, né mentalmente. Non sei male per un principiante. Con lui dovevo immaginarmelo se dall'inizio. Si chiamava Jean-Luc. Era pure un attore. Dio! Quando mi ha detto che non si era mai innamorato di nessun altro, dovevo capire chi intendeva oltre a se stesso. Un pallone. Adoro andare in pallone. L'hai mai provato? Sì. When I was a little girl, the first time I saw the Wizard of Oz, I was sick for a month when Dorothy missed the balloon. <laughs> I promised myself I'd never let that happen to me. My mom told me that it was only a dream. It's a dream. And that Dorothy was all right without that balloon. Mm. But I guess I never quite believed her. No. Oh, it looks so magical <laughs> from up here. Tori, take a look. No, to the right. Come on, Tori, please. Uh, take yeah, a I'm look. Sure it looks fine. Oh. Oh. Tori? Tori? Oh. Oh, that, oh, that feels good. My tail. My head does not feel too good. Take it easy. Everything. Everything keeps spinning around and around. I'm sorry. I, I did not know the Italian word for it. Ballooning. Ballooning. Yes, I know. Just take it easy. You don't have to be Johnny Paleo with me. No? Oh, Taylor. I'm sorry because... Oh, I, I should have told you something. I... I have heard you. You know, it is a... It is a few lights. It's okay. It is? 
things. You, 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 you don't remind. Inside you from the first moment we cast our longing eyes on one another. Struck with the thunderbolt. Non c'è paura, amore, lascia tranquillo. I never thought it could be like this. Never my wildest dreams and fantasies did I imagine. Not in my entire dreamy existence. Just take me. Take all of me. Don't leave anything. I want you. I need you. And I love you, Rudy. Mussolini. When this is all over, we'll meet in Venezia. In Venezia? Sì, amore. Ci vediamo a Venezia. Ci vediamo a Venezia. La spiaggia del desiderio. Oh, Rudy, I love you. I two friends. I bet the movie wasn't bad either. What movie? Rudolfo Carbonera as the lonely count who was looking for love. Love at last. That that was one of his best. <laughs> I must have seen that movie a dozen times. Me too. <laughs> Did you know that that was the only movie he made where he actually told the girl he loved her? I mean, they would always kiss and embrace and all that, and the girl would always say, Oh, Rudy. But that was the only one. I love you too, princess. Yeah, well, actually, Sally, uh, I was just thinking about you. Thanks for my um, self-portrait. Don't, don't mention it. Look, Joey, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be gone for a little while longer. I, I, uh... I'm doing a movie. You what? You what? Joey. I'm acting in a movie, and... and, and and I think I'm in love with the writer. Ba -ba -ba -da. Oh, God. I, I, I think she's in love with someone else. Mom. Lost his mind. Joey? Lost jo his mind. Hello? To Joey? Joey? Yeah. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. All right. Who's the skirt? And who's she in love with? The, 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 guy, the guy's name is Giuliano. Salvatore Giuliano. You have the most beautiful eyes I have ever seen. Taylor, these past few weeks together have been perfect. Everything has. Perfetto. I have wanted to to tell you something for a while now. No, there's something I wanted to tell you, too. Really? I'm just I... thinking. <laughs> Go ahead, you first. I guess that I've been afraid to tell you because I, I thought it would ruin everything. You afraid? Yes. Why? Well, because uh, for all of my life, I've had one big problem, no guts. I mean that I have not been able to to say what I wanted to say and to do the things I wanted to do. 
I... I have been dishonest with myself. I mean, I went through a marriage that I knew deep down inside my heart was not right. You were married? Yes. Temporary insanity. At least that was my plea at the divorce proceedings. Mr. Schwartz. You're welcome. Schwartz? Yes. Taylor, what I've been trying to tell you is that I'm in love with... Saul Schwartz? Your name is Saul Schwartz? Yes. What else have you lied to me about? Phony bastard! Uh, tell, tell, let me explain. A table for two. Dinner for one is waiting. Another lonely day is through. As you listen to old blue eyes sing to you, sit by the phone, thinking that you should call him, wondering if he's all alone. If there was a Listen to old blue eyes tell you Only the lonely They seem to think that there is nothing they can do Only the lonely Never feel the world they live in is untrue While the voice inside their heart Only tears a world apart Like a lonely heart will do As you listen to old blue eyes sing to you got something for you. Something that might help you make some sense out of things. Uh, what, what is it? Taylor's new manuscript for God, Country, and Me. I think you should read it. Why? <laughs> George, she hates me. I don't blame her. I, I, I lied to her. Kid, love and hate aren't really that different. 
Most people you hate, you usually loved first, or could have, except for my Aunt Harriet. Well, what's it about? Read it. Is, is it any good? Just read it. Forgot Country and Me. Did you read it? I loved it. Yeah. Oh, girl, how the guy she fell for turned out to be a foreign secret agent who assumed another identity just so he could get close to her to gain vital national security information. Now that's deep. And the ending with the DC3 plane and all, I just cried and cried. Oh, it is so sad. It's tragic. Yeah, I guess it is. Hey, have you heard anything about From Roma with Love? They finished shooting. You mean, have I heard anything about Salvatore Giuliano Schwartz? Don't even mention that name. He's a fictional character who doesn't really exist. Oh. Gianni Paraleo is more real. Mm-hmm. He's a smooth-talking, great-looking, bamboozling, philandering, manipulative, deceitful, lying, hypocritical phony whom I don't care to ever see again as long as I live. They wrap tomorrow. Stage eight. What the hell is it about? And that ending with the plane, it's repulsive. OK, anyone got any questions on what we're supposed to do? What? You OK? All right, let's shoot this. Let's go. All right, then, here we go. Let's lock it up, please. Uh, everybody quiet, please. Yeah, let's roll sound. Roll it. Parker. Action. Asino. Uh, you win this time. I will help you. Please, do not hurt the girl. Bene. Bene, bene, bene. <laughs> bene, bene. I was beginning to lose faith in you, mister. Adelio. Bene. All right, once again, well... Is the platonio, mister Adelio. No, Gianni, no, don't tell him. Let him kill me, I'm not worth it. Hey, ah! You're the director? All right! Yeah. I see no. Is that the secret? This is all wrong. This does not even remotely resemble what I wrote. Oh, you must be Christopher the writer. Great script, loved it. On play, she's supposed to be a nuclear technician. You've turned her into a bimbo. First. Yeah, we just uh, commercialized it a little bit. No! Uh, 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 uh. Take him down! <laughs> Schwartz? <laughs> Must be the smog. Mm. 
Excuse me. It is about time. Excuse me. That must be the longest kiss ever, no? Excuse me, can you help me find Sal Schwartz? Giuseppe! It's great to see you. What the hell is wrong with everyone around here? What? I said, what? I'm uh, sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. I said, what the hell is wrong with everyone around here? I, I, I got an ear infection for my vertigo. Earplugs? Joey? Sally? <laughs> Sally? You look great. What? What? It's a long story. Come on, I, I, I'll tell you about it. I'm out of here. Let's go shoot some pool. What? And be deprived of all of these sincere people? We are not going anywhere. Hey, Taylor, loved your script. Who the hell is she? <clears throat> God country and me. <laughs> Love for God country and me. I mean, the ending was sensational. Absolutely sensational. And those characters, they were so, so real. Real, real. They were very real. Wow. So this is a Hollywood bash. I guess. Well, how come we're wearing tuxedos and all the girls are wearing dresses? What, you you want to wear a dress? <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably does. I got a guy, I'm telling you BS, he's like Jimmy Stewart, Elvis, and Schwarzenegger rolled into one. You gotta see him. He'd be brilliant in one of your pictures. <clears throat> I found you Salvatore Giuliano, didn't I? Call me first thing Monday morning, George. We'll talk business. Mr. DeToro, welcome. I'm so Mr. happy Mr. Scarborough. You oh, it's really great to see you. I'm Barry S. Scarborough, B.S. Short. Hi. Louise Armstrong. <laughs> nice to meet you. I don't believe we met. I, I think we are acquainted. I'm, I'm Saul Schwartz. Saul Schwartz? The Saul Schwartz? As the one and only. <laughs> My God, Saul, you look great. Thank you. What you been doing with yourself? You must be doing something that agrees with you. I am. I, I got a divorce. That'll do it every time. Now, gentlemen, this, um, from Roma with love, got some guy in it by the name of Salvatore Giuliano III. Any of you ever heard of him? <laughs> no. no. Honey pie. There you are. <laughs> I've been looking all over for you, dear. Uh, I want to introduce you to some friends of mine. This is Giuseppe DeToro. Scarborough. It's really and this a is pleasure. Saul Schwartz. And I'm Miss pleasure. Armstrong. Hi, how are you? I know you. You do? You're that waiter that ruined my Gia Soso. My favorite dress. Well, I, 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 I... Destroyed! Massacred! I... Mutilated! Darling, I told you not to drink when you've been taking those bottles. I'm so sorry, folks. Would you kindly excuse me? Sure, it's quite all right. Bye-bye. Frank, Frank, you're a brilliant actor. I go all the way back to Studs Lonigan. Hey, Look, leave hey. your agency, come with us, and we'll talk about getting the Riddler into syndication. I don't know, and I never saw before in my life. Well, maybe, well, maybe once. Oh, congratulations, <laughs> Salvatore. I hear everyone's raving about your performance. They're already talking sequel. Thank you, uh, uh, Cherry. Cherry cream pie. Don't you just love it? I thought it up myself. Well, it's, uh... Tasty. It's, a uh, real tasty. <laughs> uh, scusi, uh, my name is Signor Giuseppe Di Toro. I'm Mr. Uh, Giuliano's personal producer. I'm uh, doing his next uh, five, uh, ten pictures. Uh, you be an actress? Why, yes, I am. I can tell by your eyes. Would you care to dance? Most certainly. Signorine, signore, ciao. Scusi. It works. Yes, he is. <laughs> it's Taylor, isn't it? Is that obvious, huh? Yeah. This is impossible. Wait a minute, where are you going? I, I, I don't know what to do. Well, did you try talking to her? Louis, I called her a thousand times. She, she wouldn't even take my calls. Did you try flowers? 
How about being yourself? Were you Saul or were you Salvatore? Salvatore. I, at first, I, I, I tried to tell her. I, I wanted to be honest with her. <laughs> that just something that always kept happening. I mean, I mean, she won't even talk to me now. You know one thing that always amazes me is that men, they just don't get it. Okay, get what? For some insane reason, they have this, this crazy idea of what they think women want. That it's this suave, gorgeous hunk with a line and a compliment for everything. Look, just because some men desire superficially attractive women doesn't mean that's what a woman wants in a man. Do you know what women want? What they look for in a man? Why they fall in love? Do you have any idea? I, well, obviously not. Listen to me. It's what's in here and what's in here. That's what matters to a woman. That and the courage to just be yourself and be accepted for who and what you are. Louie, this is, this is a crazy world, and sometimes we get caught up in it all. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes we, maybe we forget who we really are. Yeah. Thanks. Welcome back, Saul Schwartz. <laughs> you turned out to be a real mensch, you know that? Yeah. Louis. What? I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. I am so proud of you. The writer and producer of your own film. Girlfriend, you're on top of the world. Top of the world! I was on top once. Almost killed the poor guy. <laughs> oh, I think I've been killing a few myself lately. This casting business, it's brutal. Having to reject people if they're not exactly perfect. And I still haven't found the right guy for the lead. And I seem to recall a client we represent, a Saul Schwartz. He could be just the guy you're looking for. Hey, hey. hi. Hey, how you doing? Doing? Wonderful. <laughs> good to see you. Louise Armstrong, Taylor Christopher. Boy, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. I have heard a lot of really nice things about you. <laughs> well, I pay her to say things like that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. There's not enough money in this world to make me lie like that. <laughs> no, not from Cookie. From Saul. Saul Schwartz. Mm-hmm. Good night. Have a nice weekend. You too. plane was a little hard to come by, but... You read my manuscript? Did you like it? No. I loved it, Taylor. Except the ending. Him getting decapitated by the propeller was, uh... a little bit gruesome, don't you think? Well, maybe he deserved it. Although it might have been a little severe. You notice I didn't take any chances. Maybe you finally did take that chance, Saul Schwartz. Maybe you did. Yeah. <laughs> really, did you hear that? They're gonna have a baby. 
Billy, you're gonna, you're gonna be a grandmother. I thought that I'd never find my certain someone, and now bring. I love you, Taylor, Christopher, Schwartz. It's certain someone is you. This warm summer breeze brings you What it seems. 